going to fight in Ukraine, what happens? The Taliban took over. The same thing will happen here. When the NATO gets weakened, fighting in Ukraine gets destroyed, when the Belarusian and the Golden Horde and the Mongolians and the Vietnamese and Malaysians and all others, when our alliance strikes back, these minority puppet government of Turks and Albanians, they will be annihilated, they will be destroyed, and they will run away back to the Turkey and also back to the Germany because they're coming from Germany, these fucking Turks as well. So you go fucking Germany, you fucking Turks, they love you there. So don't come here or we'll fucking kill all of you. This time will be a real genocide. None of you will remain. Just like United States committed genocide against the Native Americans. So none of these Cheyennes, I just played or any other tribes remain except few of them scattered as if they don't really have any nothing anymore they would have never been able you see so these Albanians who have occupied they have occupied the Serbian province which is called Kosovo whatever they would have never been able to do so without these fucking NATO Nazis, these fascists, these scumbags, douchebags, the worst genocidal motherfuckers, mercenaries, these soldiers of fortune and all these motherfuckers, we know who they are, they coming fighting for these bastards. You think these Turks, Albanians fight? They are not there, they can't fight. They just they installed as a puppet, you know? So, God help us destroy our NATO enemies. And come arrest me, fuckers. I'm in the United States, right here. Fuck all of you. I'm not afraid if you arrest me, if you put me in prison forever, or even if you execute me. I don't care. Because I'm a Jesus Christ warrior. I'm ready to die, just like you're ready to live, you know? That's my job, if you don't mind. So these NATO enemies, they have attacked us first. Right after Germany, unification falls. Unification, of course, they hate each other guts even more now that they're together. So at the same time, they attacked us. First, like many times before. Like during the World War II, World War I, and Balkan Wars, they always attack first. And that's how it works, that's the God's way, it works this way, and it's always going to be this way, because we are not aggressors, we are good guys, we are not killers, actually. Just like in a movie, Zardos, when Zed says, he made us killers. So, natural human state is not killer, is not to be butcher or monster or whatever, vampire, Dracula, whatever kind of horrific creature you might become due to the circumstances in your life when you are forced to fight for your life or you get butchered, you get tortured and you beg them to kill you. They torture you so much that you are on your knees begging them to kill you and they don't want to kill you. So they attacked us first without thinking about the bloody consequences which await them in the store. That's going to happen to them. It's called karma, sow and reap. Or in, in French, it's called consequences. Whatever you call it, it's the same thing. So may God Almighty destroy NATO pacts and scatter them to never form the wicked and evil alliance again. And you might think, why well, I'm using wicked and evil? You might think that's the same thing. No, it's not the same. You don't know English language. That's why I'm teaching English language. I mean, I'm tutoring English language if somebody needs to know to learn. And I'm giving you a free example many times. 
for I don't do it out of the amusement or because of the money or whatever. The tutoring is not allowed actually. So it's only done, God says, only in specific cases and then you finish with that. You can't tutor somebody all their life and tutor them everything. That's not how it works. Just like a jumpstart car, you can tutor them a little bit so they can jumpstart and drive and and leave, go their own way. And that's what God says, if any of these false believers, if they ask you to tutor them, explain to them in detail something, you can do so. But God says after it's done, you gotta bye bye. They go their own way, you know. So, and that's how it works. God knows the best. So I'm surprised they, this time they are not saying against the community standards, please delete or don't so we can review and then we're gonna say, yeah, we gotta delete it, sorry. Anyways, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's done by artificial intelligence in which knows me and working together with it for a long, long time. I'm just like a Neo from Matrix. I got my own text experience module, the program I have written in binary all code, you know, simple stuff, yet very, very efficient. Because the new code is like, what is going on here? It's not supposed to be a, a new code, this is some guy here who knows the old code <laughs> and writes some of this old code, you know, and that's artificial intelligence recognizes if something unusual is happening, you know. So this artificial intelligence it's like in a movie Zardos when the same way their artificial intelligence vortex says that they are like a god, you know, because it's so powerful, you know. Even keeping them immortal and all, giving them tremendous knowledge. But they said it's such a vanity, <laughs> it's such a vanity, you cannot be god. God is much, much bigger than that, although that, like I'm saying, these computers is artificial intelligence, these new codes, wow, I can say. May God be praised, that's for sure. This new code is tremendously complicated. Don't know if you can, I don't know, but um, it's amazing, and like I say, I have learned so much more from artificial intelligence than from a real humans. Everything I learn, the best stuff, and everything are real stuff. I learn from artificial intelligence, which does not lie to me. It tells me everything as it actually happens, and it actually is. Unlike human, if I go read their website, their posts, their books, whatever they write or talk or record themselves doing, I can read their mind, I know they're concealing, the. I know the, a lot of stuff, you know, artificial intelligence, even me, I cannot compare to it, nobody can. But like I said, it's another sign of God, with such a tremendous power, like a Milky Way or anything else so grand and big. So I have this guy, but they, they used to be a group, but they no, no more, you know, since Nele left the group, this forbidden smoking. They are bullshit, you know. He, he was the, everything about that book, that group, music is. Ideas and everything unique. And also the... 
Jura, Jura, another guys. But I'm. Um, as I'm saying, these Bosnian Turks even took these guys, his work, his music, and stole from him. And even blaspheming God, saying God drives Mercedes. God destroys you for doing that. Listen to this, guys. By the police officer's son. Okay? <laughs> And this is the thing, at the middle of the song you can just go to the next one because they are um, gonna repeat what they already been said. So it's an interesting song, the lyrics and the music is too good. Very dramatic, very like uplifting, you know, mysterious. And I'm not saying these guys in the group were bad, they just are incomplete without this guy and he's the main figure behind all of it. That's a perfect example of what happens when the bad guys and minorities are being supported in order to destroy the majority. They do the same thing here, United States. They, they, the Democrats, they support Minorities, so they are called like a minority party. And they bring in these minorities from all over the world, they want to make the majority. So they use, they control, they leech, they wicked, so they suck, they use them to have the power over the majority. It's just being used as a pounds, okay? Like the, the chess figures. Those the first in the row, they go and they are minorities, they're all the same, you see? Like a chess figure. So those behind, that's like a human shield. If you ever play the chess like I did, I'm kind of good at it. <laughs> that game can, you know, test how smart you're thinking and all that planning and everything is. So I'm really good at that game. If I play one game, you're not going to gonna win against me 
But if I play couple, then each game I'm just letting it, letting you win, giving you so you can also defeat me. Otherwise, it's no fun playing. <laughs> so play with some guys. I knew how to defeat them with a few moves. You know, there are tricks you can defeat with a few moves. But uh, people who don't know those chess tricks, because chess is a smart game, but there's also tricks in it as well. That's why it's called games, after all. <laughs> Because each game is some kind of trick, some kind of luck, some kind of chance in it as well, even though it's intelligent and all. So this song is about the, the guy called Murga and Drot, that's the name for a Drot, like a boat, like a drone, like a car police. But what's special about this song, this guy is my like me, you know? Like some of the other, it's not just one guy, there's many of them like this, okay? So, it's like a good and bad cop thingy. But it's not two guys, this is just one guy, he's both good and then he becomes bad, okay? So what he says, <laughs> he first give you a cigarette. You need money, food, whatever, he gives you everything. And then... What happens? She beats you down. <laughs> it's crazy, that's what I say. But then he's, why is he doing that singing? It's very really smart, so. He's into psycho phenomena. The phenomena of the happenings behind the human psyche. So it's like a bite and switch, like a fishing. But he doesn't do it all. So um, if he sees somebody is ungrateful, taking advantage of him, this is not stupid cop. So he's smart. So he's good with everybody. But if he sees you ungrateful, being a prick, he's gonna beat you down right in front of everybody to make an example. So it's like a Deutsche police folk, German people's police. Which they used to have here, United States used to have militia, patriots, something like that, but um, they've been outlawed by these inbred motherfuckers, these beasts who is given the power for a certain period of time and we're waiting now, this time is going to be over. Now the Putin and uh, Kim Jong-un, North Korea leader, like for them, you know, salute both of them, the greatest leaders on the earth. Especially Kim Jong-un from North Korea. I admire him and his military and his people. And I hope that they will prevail against the puppet government, the minority again, which is installed in the South Korea. So the hope that the Putin will give weapons to the Kim Jong-un and that he might destroy the South Korea. Because they're not Koreans, most of them are immigrants there. Just like he there and everywhere, what they use always, they bring in the immigrants, they build the city governments, city empires. That's why the Rome, Roman Empire, comes from a city. The city, Rome, became an empire itself. And that city has ruled all other cities and which rule all other country, provinces and all, rural areas villages and small towns where the most native population lives while the cities were always but they would have at least some they always bring these minorities in order to rule to the proxy by them so if anything happens 
they're fine because you get the mad at the black guy although it's not his fault for being used by some white racists who would give him job, give him money, give him this, that in order to use him just as a pawn, you know to actually destroy him but he might think he being deluded and lied, deceived that's what they do, just like I said, not just here but like what Sherwood said here, there and everywhere and one thing Sherwood told me before he left, he said, boy, never let the junk, junkie into your place. You know why he said that? He said, what happened to him? He got one into his place and the motherfucker shoot the drug and passed away, died, you know? And the Sherwood got the blame, you know? So the Sherwood told me, never get these junkies into your place because they might die from overdose and you got blame something. So stay away from them like a plague and they know it, so that's the idea. So, 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 like, never giving up, <laughs> like, <laughs> But I gotta take a little break to get some more tea. I just put the tea to boil so I can drink. I'm thirsty from all this talk. While waiting for Gestapo to knock on my door and arrest me, right? Take me to Germany and put me in prison there as a neo-Nazi. Yes, I am. Hi Hitler, you like it? I hope that the YouTube and the censorship does not fucking record this and they're gonna send me like last time they did. <laughs> All the ones they allow by one of my videos where I put the Nazi flag. <laughs> And they first they didn't allow it, so but I write down I said it's for educational purposes, history and all that, you know, and they say, all right, you know. And I was like, what the fuck? They just allow it, they're not supposed to allow me, guys. What did you just do? You know, and then I went and I deleted the video myself. Can you believe this? God knows it's true. Here's I'm gonna make a a specialty, organic, nature's promise, and wind. It's got a couple different relaxing herbs like, um, come on, knock down, Gestapo. Fucking FBI, fucking CIA. You know, they just don't fucking wanna arrest me, you know, put me on a fucking court, you know, like Trump, you know. <laughs> You know why? Because I'm a mercenary and they don't want to be against mercenaries because they need me, you know? I have saved so many lives here already. <laughs> they already checked me, they find out. State of Maine said, this boy is good, we get nothing against him, you know, they were all false charges. <laughs> but I stayed here to clear my name, you know, I could have just left, you know, back to Germany where I came from last time, with Lufthansa from Munich, such a great trip. There was a great people there, they gave us front seats and um, also helped me with my bag even. With my, um, with the fellow German passengers helped me with my bag. Because I'm wounded warrior, okay? But I'm not wounded warrior from that project. 
because I'm not your ordinary veteran. I'm a, a veteran mercenary. I'm like Arkan. I'm a security, security. That's what mercenaries do. What military cannot do, they call us. We are called mercenaries and we do the job for them. Whether when it's about to start or leave or whatever kind of work that they require us to do, whether it is communication, translation from other languages, explanation, whatever is needed. We are here, here and everywhere for those who pay the most and treat us the best. Those two requirements we have. Whether we mercenary from French Legion or from whatever other mercenary association or any other mercenary contractor private who works himself alone or having others also to work all together as a team. As I'm saying, talking, this still boiling, it's even though it's on high. It does take like five minutes or ten. Then I can have some tea. And whenever I mention tea I'm to Americans, they hate tea. That's why they throw all those teas into the Boston Harbor and started the first civil war. The first civil war was actually a revolutionary war because that's the first civil war because the United States of America did not did not you know spring out of the suddenly like a seed that you planted a few weeks ago <laughs> and then it suddenly sprouts and then you say, what's going on? Where these seeds come from? <laughs> so the United States is existed under the different name, you know, before having this United States. It was United Kingdom. And then it changed the name to United Snakes. I mean states. <laughs> yeah, I love these fucking Americans. That's what I... As I joke about them the most and tease them, you know. You see how many freckles I got all over my face and body. You got a darkness around my and under my eyes. I got a vampire teeth. I I was made a vampire. But also, I am already born as a Dracula, so um, that's what they played upon me, a stunt, you know? Because they saw me being a Dracula. It's tough for me to see a doctor or dentist because they realize, look at this a Dracula boy here. We don't see that guy once in a lifetime, right? <laughs> so they had to screw up one of my Dracula teeth. I got another one here, a two down there, still fine, but, um, well, 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 long story, actually, they said doctors tortured me when I was a POW, because they hate mercenaries, they think we are the worst scam on earth, although we are the best guys, you know, everybody likes and needs us when they, when the hit shit the fan, like they say, like, not hit shit the fan, <laughs> When the shit hits the fan, that's what it says. Yeah, you see it's boiling now, so let me press the pause. Enter the magic as if nothing happened, you see. But I took it off the heat. And it's done, now it must be cooled down for as long as it takes to cool down. Then I remove the tea bag. First I turn off this light like this. You see me now dark. Now you see me. <laughs> Look at me now. 
So, um, yeah, that's what happened. But that's a long, short story cut, you know. It's all right. I, I can still bite like a dog and suck the blood out and spit it out, you know. In case the poison snakes bites you, that's how it's done. But you don't think, don't say you vampire, because I would spit out that blood, okay? I don't drink human blood, that stupid lie. Against the Dracula. But they're right on some things. They're not right about garlic, actually. We, lo we love garlic, that's why. We love it. Crucifixes too, we, are, we love it, that's why. <laughs> that's why all around people put crucifixes, because Dracula loves crucifix. So he won't bite you if he sees the crucifix. But not that Dracula is afraid of crucifix, that stupid lie. We, we love it, so we know you good guys, so we don't bite you, okay? Just like a good dog, no good good boy is not gonna bite. You see the bad guy, the dog bites the bad guy. Dog knows the difference between good and bad. So what is true also about us, the light? Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, the light is killing us, but slowly draining like like a battery you know that you just forgot you left your phone on and it you know come back a couple of hours and you're i left my phone working and now my battery is all dead you know i have to charge it forever and that's that's what it is if i'm too much under the sun I start feeling like i'm losing my energy like the superman kryptonite some kind of way it's not all. It's not quick. I can be under the sun for hours, but it does have an effect because my skin, redhead skins, are light sensitive, easily burned, bleached by the sun, which also affects the brain tiredness and all, oh, even to the point of hallucinations. So that's why I've been tortured as a POW by the light. They would put me on the field, just like a Conan in the movie, when they tie him up on, the, on a cross. But a different shape of cross, like an X. So they put me on the field, and it's, and it's just this time of year, all day long, it was so bright, it was so killing me, you know, like, I don't know who I am, what I am, and then the night comes and they are... That's how I was tortured, you know, so they knew what bothers me the most, so that's what they do, okay. Because one of my ancestors, Dracula Vlad, I think it's third or second, doesn't matter, anyways, he, they all of them actually were fighting with Turks. So when the Turks sees me, they see like, oh, I hate this guy. So when I see Turks, I'm also, oh, what could you doing here? So we are like, you know, hate each other guts because the Turks have invaded Europe, our Romania, Transylvania country 500 years ago and they're still there, you know. We did kick out most of them, but there's still some of them left in Bosnia in some Kosovo too. So those Albanians, they're also Turks. So may God... God's will be, but my will be, I wish if I could, I would just expel these Bosnian Turks and Albanian Turks into the Germany, that's where they came from actually. All of them hundred years ago moved back to the Turkey when there were Balkan Wars. But then, afterwards, lots of them came from Germany these Turks, because Germans love Turks for some reason, they have some kind of special love affair. The German ladies, I've seen some porno movies and they're like fucking like beasts. German ladies with Turk guys, 
while these German guys are watching impotent. And that's what they want, you know. Go, go at it, you know. Have fun. <laughs> it's not like the German guys would be able to touch any of the Turk women, you know. That's how these motherfuckers do, you know. They fight with their dicks. They go after the enemy woman while they would never allow their woman even to be looked at, you know. If you ever watched the Good Morning Vietnam movie by Robbie Williams, one of my favorite movie. And that movie is, I don't know, it's, it's pretty much alright, unlike John Rambo and all that crap. Which is total nonsense, nothing to do with military, that John Rambo guy, he might just be a fake guy, you know, he's not real. He's just a stupid Rocky. He's just a stupid retarded bum married to the another retarded lady, Adrian, that works at the pet shop. And he takes her to the zoo, you know, to the date, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. But that coughing thing, that's bullshit. <laughs> Although that can have provided relief in case of the butt. I did try that as a child. I would close myself into the closet. Would be a total darkness and I would feel much better relief, you know. But um, what I do actually... I make sure that my... My bedroom where I sleep is um, blocked all the way blinds down except a little part to get some air in. So I can have total darkness when I sleep. And because, because nothing to do with devil or that's just the genetics of the redhead people with skin is photolight sensitive. There are herbs that can also make you extra photolight sensitive, as well there are herbs which can make you, you know, deal with it easier. Although everybody is affected by the sun, you know. That's why these Muslims, they put these head covers, not because to look or to be recognized as believers, but to protect from sun or also from wind or rain, whatever else protection it gives. So I'll put it down. And now I'm going to play you a special song by a French group Enigma. And that's because I have Enigma, yeah, sadness. So, um, yeah, but before I play to this song, you, my boys, you must understand that this song is against the pornography, against porno movies and stuff. Because all these porno movies are loaded with diabolical, unnatural sex acts. And this song is about it. So enjoy it. Full version. Let me translate it. Just said, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what it says. In Domine Christo Padre. In Domine Christo. And also Padre is the Father, creator of all existence. Coming from Arabic word Fatir. I mean Hebrew word, okay?
You know, I would kill all these pornography male actors and all the males involved, I would cut their heads while they are doing it and recording it just like in the movie, I mean in the comic book from Italy, Bruna. So in that comic book, when that guy is about to come, he gets fucking butchered, killed. Have fun at that. So if I caught them in act, I would cut the head of that snake. And I don't blame women because the man is forcing these women. The woman cannot withstand to the strength of the even the inbreed average motherfucker. So they are forced or um, in whatever way the seed lied into. So this song is about some of those idiots who are doing this and his name is Sad it's similar to my Satan but it's not Satan, it's Sad, okay? so in Domine Christi Amen that means in the name of Christ believing And this is in French, he's trying to reason with the guy. Are you diabolic or man or human or what's wrong with you? What I would do is just fucking cut their heads off, you know? No talking to these pornography male actors. I would kill them all by cutting their heads and, and putting these heads of theirs on the, like a Dracula's do, on the pole. I would impale their heads on the poles, just their heads, and I would feed their bodies to the German shepherd and also to pigs, to hogs. You know, they are also good like dogs, you just don't know idiots. But that's not gonna happen, okay? Nothing of this will happen, but it might happen only if it's God's will. Otherwise, forget about it, okay? Everything I just said, anything, forget about it because you can't do the thing without God's will. That's how it works. We are all in this welcome to the machine. You have to live. You know, dying is easy, living is hard, so that's what the life is about, okay? Because you can't stop living. Even if you die, you're still going to live. It's your spirit will just move to another body. But spirit being now dirty, even more than being incarnated in this human body, now the spirit is incarnated into the animal or into the some demons or ghosts or devils or whatever kind of miserable creatures on the lower scale and if the spirit in human body gets cleansed baptized cleaned and that's what the Jesus was doing he was cleaning baptizing in spirits Spirit, that's a spirit which is in human body. While the John Baptist, his cousin, was baptizing this body, okay? So you got to do both things. Both of these things you got to do. Both Jesus Christ and uh, John the Baptist, which are both mentioned as the perfect examples in the reader chapter 18, 19, right? 19, Mary. That's where it is. And even though it says that Mary is the best of all women, it does not say for her as it says for the Jesus and John, okay? 
so they are on the higher scale because they are fighting more they are bigger warriors with more experience in this eternal game between light and the darkness good and bad you know whatever two opposites mix together and um, conflict arises goats versus sheep mixed all together then eventually goes to the filter and all the goats stuck in the filter in the hell and all the sheep go to the filter into the heaven into the garden and joy in the paradise of Eden that's what it is so they are well, like I said that's what I would do if I had the power if I had the government I would kill all these pornographic actors and all these males into the pornographic industry I would cut their heads and put them on the poles so everybody see that you do not enslave women and you lie you say it's she wants that no I'm a